Well, this is fresh out the paint shop. This is my J10B from Trumpeter in one in 70 second. This is number five. So I've built four for flight one and this is number one of flight two. The J10B kit or a C because they're pretty much the same thing is a really nice and highly detailed kit by Trumpeter. It's actually fairly complex, especially when you compare it to the J31 slash FC31 kit. These with the FC31 are the backbone of my new force with the grippings. There are some SU30s as well, and um, I'll come to them another time. There's SU57s as well, but they are small in number. So these will be very much carrying the weight with the FC31. Now, because it's a Chinese airframe and obviously you can't just bolt NATO equipment onto it because the Americans would get rather upset. The middleman, if you like, is Israel. Non-political, I'm not making a political statement, but uh, they are often the middlemen for various uh, air forces such as India, such as uh, Colombia. And this allows you to fit what is essentially cutting edge technology weapons to airframes which aren't NATO standard. So here we have a ECM pod, that's Chinese origin. We have a Popeye cruise missile, which is Israeli origin. We have the ANALW55 datalink pod, which allows the Popeye missile to function. We have a lightning targeting pod, a PL-15 long range missile, a MICA IR missile medium range, and the PL-10 short range of a maneuverable Chinese missile. So it's a bit of a, a compilation of uh, different uh, sort of sources. It's finished in the markings of the Squirtle Squadron. It's got a pilot in it. He's got his visor down, ready to take off. These will be uh, based on the airfield when I eventually finish it. Um, overall, an absolutely lovely kit. Quite complicated. It's finished in the Israeli colours, which Madagascar now uses. I'm very impressed with it and I hope you like it too.